Welcome everyone to the closing plenary on the fifth day of ISD Africa 2021. It's my great pleasure to introduce our friend and colleague Dan Toy, who's going to make a presentation on behalf of the Department of Science and Innovation South Africa. Good day, ladies and gentlemen, dear participants in the ISD Africa 2021 conference. My name is Dan Toy, and I'm a Deputy Director General at the South African Department of Science and Innovation, where I have the privilege to be responsible for our portfolio of international science and innovation partnerships. Following the welcoming address to this conference delivered by His Excellency Mr. Butima Nemela on Monday, South Africa's Deputy Minister for Higher Education, Science and Innovation, we are really grateful to the organizers for affording South Africa with an opportunity uh, to sh share with you some reflections on this concluding, conclu concluding day of this year's event. An event which certainly by all indications and the feedback we have received has been as successful as ever. And more than ever, ISD Africa has positioned itself as the leading Pan-African platform for supporting research and innovation in the information society technologies. So the message we would like to, to, to bring to you today from South Africa is a, is a brief reflection on our journey with the ISD Africa partnership. And we've entitled this reflection, ISD Africa, yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And the key message is that ISD Africa mattered yesterday, it's mattered today, and will certainly matter tomorrow. It's indeed a true strategic partnership between South Africa and the ISD Africa Alliance, a partnership which matters not only for Africa, but, but beyond. We had uh, the privilege as the Department of Science and Innovation, we were then known as the Department of Science and Technology, uh, more than 16 years ago to first encounter the ISD Africa pioneers, Paul and Miriam Cunningham, within the margins of one of the uh, renowned IST conferences uh, in Europe. And Paul and Miriam had a vision that an event such as the annual IST events in, in, in Europe were, was needed in order to advance and to promote African ICT research and innovation. And for South Africa, at a time when we had just finalized our new national R&D strategy, with a key focus on um, ICT as a key enabling uh, the, the technology platform and as a country committed to Pan-African cooperation and innovation, this was certainly an idea we could subscribe to. And more than that, we had just created a new Maraca Advanced Institute for supporting ICT research and innovation in, in Africa. So all the ingredients were there for us to embark on this partnership. And it was thus that in 2006, we had hosted and had a huge privilege to host the first ISD Africa conference in uh, the city of, of Chwane, our capital city, the, the city of, of, of Pretoria. So it was also at that time that this, the then still young African Union had set out on the implementation of its first Pan-African continental consolidated plan of action for science, technology in Africa. Again, which had ICT as one of its key components key strategic areas. It was also a time where the global policy environment was focused on the objective of uh, narrowing, bridging the digital divide, and really seeking to advance the outcomes of the world summits on the information society and the objective to put information society technologies uh, at service for the advancement uh, of society. And reflecting now back more than, than, than 15 years later, the first ISD Africa event certainly achieved that objective. For us at South Africa, played a key role to connect us to uh, global ICT research and innovation networks, certainly within Africa, with Europe, and, and with elsewhere. ISD Africa became one of the driving forces behind advancing the Europe Africa, but also Pan-African ICT research and innovation agendas and played its part to respond to those policy imperatives of the World Summit on Information Society. So that was yesterday. 
But where are we today? In 2021 in South Africa, we are now finalizing a new decadal plan for science, technology, and innovation. This is a 10 year strategic investment plan, which will have as one of its key focus, the harnessing of the digital technologies for economic recovery and reconstruction, uh, including responding to the impact which COVID-19 is having on our, our economies. So more than ever, we need platforms such as ISD Africa to connect to global networks, to continental African regional networks to bolster this national effort. And we are therefore very grateful to be participating in ISD Africa 2021. And we're delighted at a large number of South African researchers, innovators, policymakers who contribute to the proceedings over the past five days. We're also in the midst as a continent with implementing the Africa Union Science, Technology and Innovation Strategy, commonly known as STISA, as it seeks to put also science, technology and innovation, including digital technologies at the heart of Africa's growth and development agenda as articulated in Agenda 2063. And the deliberations, the discussions, the presentations over the past five days, bringing together African experts from across our continent certainly made a concrete contribution to advancing that African agenda. But of course, we live in a world which is marked by the COVID-19 pandemic. Because of the travel restrictions we are, we are meeting on, on this digital platform, but it's also a time when international cooperation is, is more than ever, important more than ever, crucial as we respond to challenges such as global, cha global cl climate change, inequalities, or seeking as a world really how to, to, to harness and manage the impact of disruptive technologies, such as, for example, artificial intelligence. And ISD Africa was again at the heart of all these discussions. And I would really like to congratulate the organizers for putting together such a compelling program. So more than ever, ever ISD Africa matters today. But what about tomorrow? We cannot predict what tomorrow will be. Um, we, we may have forecasting, foresighting exercises, which, which can develop different scenarios. What we can say, however, with certainty from South Africa is that our world tomorrow will still need platforms to enabling the sharing of experience, expertise, the pooling of resources, such as ISD Africa does. Because throughout the ages, that's how science and innovation has always progressed. So we have absolutely no need that ISD Africa will continue to play a crucial role for promoting inter-African, but also Africa's global collaboration within the field of information society technologies. We spoke earlier about the various societal challenges to which information society technologies uh, are required to, to respond. And a platform such as ISD Africa, which brings together not only researchers, innovators, entrepreneurs, policymakers, decision makers, industry, civil society, youth constituencies will, will be crucial because that's how society is best put at the service of, or rather technology, how technology is best put at the service of society. It's through that true partnership, enabling or, or rather embracing the principles, principles of open innovation, open science as discussed through, throughout the, this conference. So also tomorrow as a platform for harnessing the potential of technology to make a difference in our society, ISD Africa will be needed more than ever. But crucially, as the current debate, global debate on, for example, ac access to vaccines illustrates, we need increased international solidarity, international friendship, partnership, a renewed commitment to multilateralism. I'm sure all of us participants in ISD Africa 21 can agree that science and innovation has that unique role which a role which transcends boundaries, which transcends the artificial matters which sometimes divide us to build true global solidarity. So as an instrument for science diplomacy, for reinforcing international friendship, we believe that ISD Africa more than ever has a crucial role to play. So thus, after having had a huge privilege to host the inaugural ISD Africa conference in 2006 in Pretoria, uh, then hosting on the, um, in our beautiful city of Etiquene, Durban in 2010-2016, uh, following editions of ISD Africa, 
we are honored and, and really privileged um, to announce that we will be working with the ISD Africa Institute to, to bring ISD Africa, so to speak, home to where it all started in 2022, as we seek to, to, to renew our efforts, really to bolster this immense strategic capability of the ISD Africa platform to make a difference in our society, in, on our continent, in Africa, but also uh, in, a, in a world which will be more equitable, more just, and more sustainable. And we certainly very much look forward to, on behalf of the Department of Science and Innovation, we welcome you to our capital city of Chwane, Pretoria in 2022. Again, congratulations to all involved in the 2021 edition. Uh, we would um, like to thank again um, IST Africa Institute for affording the Department of Science the Innovation the opportunity to partner with you. And uh, we wish our best wishes to everyone. Please stay safe and we look forward to future cooperation. Thank you very much. We'd like to thank Dan for sharing this insight, analysis of the impact of ISD Africa to date and its important role going forward. My name is Miriam Cunningham. On behalf of the ISD Africa Institute, Paul and I would like to thank Dan de Toit and the Department of Science and Innovation South Africa for their ongoing support. We look forward to organizing IST Africa 2022 in cooperation with the Department of Science and Innovation in South Africa next year. The call for papers will be circulated in sufficient time to facilitate the research and innovation community to submit papers for double buying peer review in November for consideration in the scientific program. We'd like to thank all the plenary speakers and the paper presenters for preparing high quality presentations and to all the participants for the level of interactivity and knowledge sharing. We'd also like to thank the International Programme Committee for blind peer reviewing papers and providing constructive feedback on papers to improve quality. From our perspective, the second virtual IST Africa conference has been highly successful in facilitating knowledge sharing with participation from a broad range of public private, research, innovation and education, societal and funding organizations from 37 countries around the world. The feedback received from participants to date has been very positive. Paul and I would also like to thank and acknowledge the various support organizations. So the Government of South Africa through the Department of Science and Innovation, the European Commission, African Union Commission, IEEE Africa Council, IEEE Society on Societal Implications of Technology, IEEE Education Society, IEEE Technology and Engineering and Management Society, IEEE Social South Africa Section, IEEE Tunisia Section, IEEE Uganda Section, and IEEE UK and Ireland SSIT Chapter. We wish all the participants a lovely weekend and we look forward to seeing you hopefully in a face-to-face -face mode for IST Africa 2022 in South Africa in May. This afternoon, we continue with the e-agriculture and the environmental sustainability track and we look forward to your active participation. <laughs>